Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. You may remember we were just recently talking about, I just did a video on the Canon SL2. And I think this is probably one of the biggest sleeper cameras out there right now in the sense of for the price, it performs well above its price point. So I got one in for review. B&H loaned me an SL2 kit, and this kit, I believe it was $7.99 is what it lists for at B&H, but I'll put a link below. You can check it out. The SL2 with an 18-55 to 55 kit lens comes with a Canon camera bag. You can see right on there it says Canon, so it's a Canon camera bag, and we have a Canon 55-250 to 250, uh, zoom lens, so telephoto zoom lens, uh, and as you'll remember if you're a regular viewer, the 55-250 to 250 is one of my four top value, best value Canon uh, APS-C crop sensor lenses to get. So it's a very good performer for a crazy good price. This is the IS-STM version. Uh, so let's get this thing unboxed. I got to tell you right up front, I haven't taken the camera out of the box, but I did dig in and get the battery out so I could charge it. So it's been on the charger, the battery is charged. This is the charger that comes with the SL2. What I do like about it is it doesn't have a cord. A lot of them these days are this way, but it's got the flip out plug uh, prongs for the wall, which is great. And we've got an LPE 17, which is a Canon battery for that. So we've got that there. And let's see, let's move this stuff to the side for a moment and get the main course out of the way. So this is the 18 to 55 box kit that came with this B&H kit. So we've got a... Uh, a register your camera warranty card. We've got an SL2 um, EOS 200D manual. It depends where you are in the world. And I think that's just warranty remarks or something in the, in the rest of the paperwork there. So we have inside the box, this was the packaging that the battery and the charger was in. And we have the lens here in this bubble wrap. So this is the 18 to 55 IS, so it's the EFS 18 to 55 IS STM lens. So it's a nice little kit lens, small and light. It is STM and it is IS. So that's it right there. And we'll get to that in a second because we are going to take out everything in here to show you. So we've got a camera strap. There's another bag. I think the battery was in that bag. And now we've got the, uh, the main main goodness out of here we've got the camera the SL2 and my goodness this thing is small which I really like and that's what a lot of people like little SL2 small and light set that down for a minute let's put this uh, this packaging back in here put the lens packaging back in there and that in there tidy up a little bit so we don't lose anything because eventually this does all have to go back to B&H so um, here's the SL2 and uh, wow, very light, uh, but yet still seems quite well made. The fit and finish on here is very nice. The plastic, um, matte plastic material looks very nice. Actually, the grip has a nice um, tactile feel, decent rubber. Um, when I say that, if it sounds like I'm almost surprised, remember, um, the body alone on this can be had for 550 and even less for refurbs and used. So very inexpensive camera, yet it has essentially the same sensor as what's in the 80D and the 77D and all of the uh, current 24 megapixel APS-C bodies from Canon. So um, nice. And, and you know what? The grip has a nice recess for the hand. It fits my hand well. I do have uh, medium to small hands. I don't have great big mitts like some guys have, um, but it fits my hand nicely. Let's get the um, the lens on. We'll put the kit lens on for now because that's the lens that it came with. Line up our white dots here. Got to remember Canon goes the opposite way to Nikon. Uh, a nice fit for a little kit lens. Um, myself, I'm not exactly sure what the different kit configurations are on this. I really like the 18 to 135. I know that's available as a kit lens for the 70D, the 80D, and I think the 7070D. I'm not sure if the SL2 has that available, uh, but for the added $100, I mean, I believe the body only on this new right now is 550. I think it's 650 to get this lens. It's a decent performing little lens. As I said, it's IS, it's an STM. It's small, fits the body nicely. That's it, fully protruded and uh, fully extended. It doesn't come with a, a lens hood, which would have been nice if Canon had thrown that in. But uh, very small and light body. Like, look look at the at how that is compared to my hand. 
I mean, it's 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 really small and light. Um, and it feels, as I said, fit and finish is decent. What I really, really like about this camera, let's pop the battery in just so you can see. So the LPE 17 here goes into the bottom of the... Um, and then also that's where the memory card goes as well. It doesn't have a separate memory card slot. Not really a big deal. Um, but now we should be able to turn it on. Now it will want me to um, fire it up for uh, to asking me what the time and date and whatnot is, as you could see right there. But this does illustrate um, what I, I mean about what I was about to say for the LCD. It's got the full very angle, as Nikon calls them, but a full swing out, fully maneuverable LCD. And uh, that, combined with the fact that this little SL2 has dual pixel AF and a very good 24 megapixel sensor and a decent autofocus system, uh, this is a great little camera. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to double check here. I'm pretty sure there is a mic input, which is important too if you want to use this camera for vlogging or for video. And yep, we do have a mic input right here on the side. So we've got a mic, we've got a remote input on the left side there. On the right side, we have HDMI and USB. So, you know, the fact that it, they haven't stripped it of its mic hookup makes this one of the best uh, values on the market for the price. You get a brand new camera for $650 with a kit lens or $550 body only if you already have some lenses. You buy it in this kit configuration and you're able to get this guy with it, the... Uh, the, the venerable little 55 to 250. Let's take it out of the box and um, show you that. Basically, what's in the box here? The lens. And uh, we've got um, warranty card. So they're not even including a, uh, it doesn't look like they're even including a manual, which is really not necessary for a, for a lens anymore. I mean, there's not never been much in there. Sometimes there was... Um, depth of field charts and things like that, but you can look those up online now. So this is the little 55 to 250. You can see this is pretty small too. It's one of the reasons I love this thing so much. It's small and light. It's a very good optical performer. For the price, it's very hard to beat. So if we put this on the, um, the SL2, you'll be able to see that this is a very nicely matched telephoto zoom for this. So let's line up our, our white. Remember to go left, and there you go. It uh, works pretty well. It actually probably looks a little large on the SL2, but it's about as small as you're going to get for a, a zoom in this range. And it is a Canon lens. You're not buying an off-brand lens. And um, there it is, fully extended. Uh, and actually, the fit and finish on here is pretty decent. I mean, the, um, the matte black on the metal parts is decent. The rubber's decent. The zoom, even, is fairly smooth. It, actually, it's quite smooth. It's, it's decent build quality. The fit and finish is very, very nice. Um, stabilizer on, stabilizer off button, uh, AF and MF, manual focus, autofocus. Um, you know, it's everything you need in a kit. Essentially, for a lot of people, this is all they might need, an 18 to 55, and then a 55 to 250. You're covered from 18 to 250 with two pretty decent Canon-branded lenses in a really nice performing body. Now, what else do we get in this specific kit? Um, I ordered this this kit instead of individually because I was going to get that lens anyways. And this kit comes with this bag. And uh, I believe this kit included, if memory serves, a um, memory card. So a nice Canon little bag, little little uh, shoulder bag. Um, looks like there's straps. Um, decent make. So uh, I like the fit and finish on this is nice too. So we've got, uh, let's take off the, there we go. So it does, it's got a, uh, a strap, so it goes over your shoulder. It's perfect for the SL2 here. If we pop the, uh, the lens uh, cap back on, you could see that the SL2 fits in there even with that. And you could close up the bag, and it's decent. And you put in one of your other lenses, you got room in here for um, several more. And uh, let's get the, I like to put the caps back on. Uh, so we put that back in there. We got room for, you could throw the charger in there. You got room for another lens in there. It's, uh, it's a decent sized bag. And if you reconfigured it a bit in there, moved around the Velcro uh, uh, divider, you could do even more. Now, what, I, what I'm not seeing is, and I'll have to go and check the, uh, this was supposed to, hang on one sec. So I was just looking to double check because I don't see the memory card. So 
it didn't, it's supposed to come with a memory card. Uh, I think it was a Tran, no, it was a SanDisk memory card. Anyways, um, I'll put the link below, you could check it out. And that may have just been because it's a review unit, they decided not to send it along. Or it could have just been an oversight, which I'm sure if I just let them know, they'll send it out to me. In any case, pretty good kit with the Canon bag, the SL2, 55 to 250, 18 to 55, um, and it all comes uh, 799 So 649 with this kit lens, and for another $150, you're getting the two, 55 to 250 a bag, and a memory card. And uh, so that's a good deal. So there we have it, unboxed. I'm impressed with this little SL2 so far. I like the size and weight. I think this is, oh, I'm thinking this is smaller than the G85 even, the Panasonic that I'm shooting this with. Very small, very lightweight. Um, the only negative to this camera is it doesn't have 4K. Let me give you a quick... Um, Spec rundown. I ran off the specs here just for those of you that aren't as familiar with the SL2. 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, as I mentioned. So great sensor. Basically the same sensor in all of Canon's APS-C bodies right now. So uh, Digic 7 image processor. 3-inch, 1.04 million dot, very angle, touchscreen LCD. So they're calling it a very angle too. Uh, full HD 1080p recording at 60 frames per second. So not 4K which I would have liked to have seen, but still, at least it's 1080 at 60 frames per second. Nine-point AF system, dual-pixel CMOS AF, so it's got that beautiful dual-pixel uh, that gives us that smooth follow-focus in video uh, so it can follow you like a camcorder and it doesn't stutter. That's what Canon is famous for right now is a dual-pixel AF. Uh, native ISO of 25,600 extended to 51,002, up to five frames per second continuous shooting, built-in Wi-Fi with a a NFC and Bluetooth, and then again, it came with the 18 to 55 and 55 to 250 kit lenses. Now, um, for that price, you can see it's it's pretty hard to beat. Uh, and the fact that it has the dual pixel AF and a full very angle LCD means that uh, we can be doing video as a one man crew. That's what I really like about Canon's dual pixel AF and the flip out screen. It allows you to not have to have a whole crew supporting you. You can basically work as a one-man show or a one-woman show. So great setup, great price. Uh, we've had some very favorable reviews from a lot of you folks writing in. And so I wanted to get it in and, uh, and play with it. I mean, it's essentially, for image quality-wise and video, it's essentially a baby ADD, which, you know, I like small and lightweight. So if you have any questions about the SL2, leave them in the comments below. If you have any feedback, if you've had it, if you shot it, uh, if you just bought it, let me know. Let me know what, what uh, you have to say about the SL2. Always great to hear back from you guys. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with more on the SL2 soon here at rtheimage.com.